welcome to another episode of Glamour and Sugar. Today we're making vanilla and ube crepes. They are so delicious. They're the crepes you see in the French bakeries and you're gonna learn how to make them with me. They're awesome, they're easy. And this is my Filipino version made with ube, which is a special flavoring and coloring that makes them look this beautiful purple. Now, if you're a fan of dessert for dessert and dessert for breakfast or dessert for dinner, that's what we're doing today. So I can't wait to get started with you. Why do I have so many things on my table? Because we're making two groups of crepes. This group right here is going to be the vanilla crepes, which we are going to top with some delicious mango with whipped cream. And this side will be the ube side, which is purple, yeah. For one batch of crepes, which is gonna make seven crepes, I will show you the recipe. We're gonna start with one cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of sugar, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Those are your dry ingredients. To move on to your wet ingredients, you have one and a quarter cups of milk. I use fat free milk, you can use whatever milk you want, two eggs at room temperature, and two tablespoons of melted butter, which is cooled a little bit. Now both of these recipes use that base recipe, but when you move on to doing the ube halaya, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of ube extract. If you're obsessed with ube like I am, you should buy it in bulk, it comes in six on Amazon. Yes, this makes a lot of ube, and this is a flavoring as well as a really deep purple color. And then you're gonna need, uh, let's see, <laughs> one third cup of ube halaya. What is ube? What is ube and what is taro? Sometimes we get them all mixed up because they're very similar, they're both purple. But ube is from a tuberous root vegetable and it's a purple yam. It's mellow, sweet, and rich, and it goes really well with coconut in cakes, cookies, and like I'm making, we're making crepes. Now taro, on the other hand, which is something I don't have an example of today, is also a root vegetable, but it's more white in color, uh, a very light lavender, and it's used for like smoothies, it's not as sweet. So if you're a scale user like I've become, I'll have the metric measurements in my recipe on my website. Other things you're gonna need to cook will be this whisk to whisk things around. And if you want to sift to make sure that that is very smooth, you can. But I have a secret weapon to make things smooth. It is this hand blender, which I got a long time ago for my wedding. And it's really good at making things smooth. I'm gonna show you the trick with this. <laughs> One of the cool things that I got that I really like for crepes is this frying pan from Pioneer Woman. It's 10 inches, it's actually perfect. Let me show you later on how to use it. It's so perfect for making crepes. You're gonna want two or three of these. Let's start by putting the dry ingredients in. We're gonna make the base crepe recipe, which is the flour, the sugar, and the salt. We're just gonna give that a quick whisk. See how easy that was? Now we'll do the wet ingredients. There's the milk, the two eggs at room temperature. Melted butter, 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 gotta have the butter. And that's it, let's whisk that together. Time to mix the wet with the dry. Whisk it just a little bit together. It's almost time for my trick. See, look, we're not over mixing at all. We're just, just blending it. It's lumpy because I didn't sift it because I have my secret weapon, but if you don't have a hand blender, that's okay. Just use a sieve, and before you put the flour in, go ahead and sift that in, and it'll make it a lot smoother. These things are a little tricky. Make sure you're on number one, otherwise you're gonna have crepe on your outfit. You will be a crepe. All right, here we go. Check this out. You're kidding me, ah! Oh, I don't have another wardrobe. 
This is it. This is the only thing I have in my closet. Everything's in the laundry. <laughs> okay, if I have like a wet spot on my shirt, you know, try just to ignore it completely. Ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get an apron. Mm -hmm. Okay, good idea. Okay. Oh. This is what you do when you get something on your shirt. You put an apron on. Anyways, I gotta make purple ones. I wanted to let you know that sometimes people put this in the fridge and let it rest, but I can't wait that long for breakfast, so we're just gonna start, and I'll show you it's gonna turn out just fine. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna add this ube flavoring. You have to be really, really careful because you can look like the purple monster. See, my hands are already turning purple. That's a quarter teaspoon of that ube flavoring. It makes this beautiful purple color. Let's add that ube halaya. Look at that. It's very thick and that's sweet. If you were to eat that right now, it's like a sweet kind of potato like substance. It's really yummy, but it does have to be counteracted with things that are not too sweet. We got a third cup of the uve. We're just gonna spoon that in. Break up those chunky chunks. Yeah, I'm glad I have my apron on. Now we add the purple potion to the flower. Look how cool that is. Look at those Bubbles, they look like little pink bubbles. We're making bubble gum today, folks. It's pretty smooth. Perfect. Before you head over to the stove, melt a little butter by cutting off a little slab here. This is gonna help us keep the pan wet. I've had this on low medium. It's heated up, it's ready, and I have my melted butter on the side. Just go ahead and put some butter on there. It's really cool. One third cup is perfect for scooping the exact amount of batter that you want. And you're gonna do this one hand and the other. So right hand or left hand does this. Left hand swirls. And you have yourself a perfect circle crepe. You wanna swirl it, kinda see that loose batter that's going around there? So it kind of covers it pretty evenly. And then we wait. One minute to be exact. So how do you know when it's been a minute? I actually was using a timer and you can use a little stopwatch, but if you can't and you don't have a stopwatch, just kind of look at the crepe, the surface, and you can see it's getting drier on the top. And then you just want to Flip it over your little spatula here. It's a little hot, but you'll see that. And then you just flip it over. Second side needs 45 seconds to one minute to cook. And that you kind of just have to check when you think it's about 30 seconds, you'll check. Let's check, see? If I turn it over, the pan was extra hot because this is the first one, so you can see those little dots. This is actually done. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that first one on there. What you think? Now we're gonna do some purple uve crepes. Scoop your one third cup. See, it's soupy. I told you it's soupy, but it helps it when you're swirling it in the pan because it actually swirls real nicely. And it's nice and wet and soupy. Please pretty. See that gorgeous color? That gorgeous color actually stays that way. Checking. The purple one takes a little bit longer than the other, I've noticed, but you can see that it's still kind of a dark color, a little wet, but it's starting to dry on the sides there. Okay, ready to flip. And you can even get a little bit more brown if you want. All right, these are 
all done. Because we're doing these summery crepes with mango, I wanted to dedicate this to my cousin Ron Velvet, who has an album and a new single called Some Say Love, which has some really cool reggae vibes in it. And you should listen to it. Check it out. Some Say Love. I'm gonna put this mango, beautiful mango crepe together by putting some mango in the middle there. And we're gonna fold it. Oh, wait, let's put a little more. We're gonna fold it like an egg roll. And then, just like that. We're gonna add that to the middle there. And where's my whipped cream? No mercy on the whipped cream here. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, it hasn't been behaving at all today. So we're just gonna go ahead and put more mangoes on there. And please, camera woman, try not to laugh. We're going to put diced mango and just kind of make it as pretty as we can, even though the whipped cream is all melted. And let's just put some powdered sugar to make it really pretty, even though. There we go. How's that? All right, now we're gonna have to try it. It's not the prettiest thing, but I promise you it's going to be delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna have some. The crepe has got that eggy quality, but it's light and it's really crepey. Like a really thin pancake. And then you have your whipped cream. Mm. Balancing out that sweet mango. Mm. Delicious. On to the uve. So for this crepe, we are going to really check this crepe out. We are gonna put some Cookie Monster ice cream on it. If you wanna see how I make this beautiful Cookie Monster ice cream, check out my other YouTube video. So I melted some chocolate first and I'm just gonna put a little bit inside. This is, these are dark chocolate chips and then I'm gonna roll it. And then add that beautiful scoop of Cookie Monster ice cream on top. And then drizzle some more chocolate all over it. Woo, look at that beautifulness. And then for the piece de resistance, some powdered sugar. Voila. The Ube Crepe Creation, baby. You gotta try this. Oh my, look at that. The ice cream. This is not gonna be neat, but it is gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. But the ice cream just gives it this different dimension. You definitely have to try both of these, either or, or both together. You definitely have to try this. Look at that. Mm. Oh my, so good. So while I finish this, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a great time. I sure did. Look at these beautiful, colorful desserts that we like to make together. And write some questions below and let me know what kind of things you want me to bake. Whether you want me to make more breakfast, or some other really cool dessert items. I would love to try whatever it is you want me to make. And hit that like, thumbs up, and the subscribe so I can keep making videos for you. And also hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make a new video. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you try all the things that we make together. And have a fun day. Thanks Glamour and Sugaries. Bye. It's a sweet potato and it's actually uh i think i think the videographer is having more problems than the baker today <laughs> it's okay i i don't hold it against you i thank you very much for your help today go on okay there it worked it's working it's working <gasps> okay do not do that 
do not blend while it's suspended in the air. <laughs> I'm dedicating this crepe to Ronnie, Ron Velvet, my cousin. Congratulations, Ronnie, on your new song. <laughs> I know the name of it. Some say love. I knew it. I knew the name of it. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit more mango <laughs> on the side there. <laughs> okay, Ellie hates it. What's wrong? <laughs>